In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Mr. Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the second lecture in a series entitled The Sign in the Number 19. And just to um, help you to follow this lecture, I will just mention a few points I mentioned in the first lecture. Now, as I mentioned that Allah God Almighty in the last revelation to people of the Quran mentions numerous names for some of his creatures. For example, the ants, the bees, the spider. So when Allah mentions these creatures, what Allah wants from us is to ponder upon them such that we can see his signs in the creation of these creatures and Allah wants to teach us knowledge from these creatures that we can implement in our life. Now also I mentioned that Allah in the Quran mentions number 19 and he mentions this number as a response to people who accuse Prophet Muhammad peace upon him that he wrote his, this book. So this accusation is still till this day and age is the main accusation against the Quran and Islam that the people accuse Prophet Muhammad that he wrote this book and Allah answers a saying to this accusation that he will place people that believe that the Quran is from is the, the work of men that we place them into hellfire and he describes hellfire and among his description for hellfire he mentions that there are 19 angels supervising the torment of people in this hellfire so he mentions in the Quran in chapter 74 verse 30 over it are 19 so over this hellfire there are 19 angels supervising the um, torment of people. And Allah states that this number 19, the number of the angels, would be a test for people, meaning that when they see the sign in the number 19, will they accept or reject this miracle or the sign of Allah God Almighty. And also Allah states in the Quran, chapter 74, verse 35, the following, Verily, it is one of the greatest signs. So Allah is telling us that this sign in the number 19, it is one of the greatest signs of Allah, one of the signs of paramount importance. So, in this presentation, I will show the knowledge that Allah God Almighty, some of the knowledge that Allah God Almighty wants to teach us from this number 19 and to explore this sign more and more. So to begin, if we ponder upon the number 19, now to start with the simplest kind of, uh, start at the base. Now, the number 19 is basically the summation of 19 units. So it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 until you get the summation of 19. That is the simplest that you can start. What is 19? Now, if we take it a step further and represent the number 19 with geometrical shapes, and let's represent these 19 units with circles. Now, if we search for the optimal way to place these circles, we'll end up with the geometrical shape you see on the screen. This is the representation of number 19 from a mathematical or geometrical point of view. This is the, so you have one circle in the middle, then six in the second layer, and 12 in the third layer. The summation will be 19. So, this shape you see on the screen, we can think of it, think of it as a code. Let's say the code of 19. Now, we want to decode this code. We want to understand what this code represents. Now, there are two ways of going at it. Two ways. Either you can use the trial and error approach, which are start guessing. This circle means this, this shape means that. And that's, of course, something wrong. Because you can end up with wrong conclusions, or, and it will take so much time to use guesswork. Now, the, be the better way of doing this is to go to the source, to go to the one who put this code. For example, if a person 
makes a code. He usually writes or always writes a manual with this code, meaning represent what this code represents. So you can decode it at the other end. So Allah God Almighty, He produced this code in the number 19. So if we want to decode the code in number 19, we need to go to the Quran. This instruction book for people, this manual, this user's manual for people. So if we want to understand this code, we need to go to the Quran instead of guesswork and I think this and I think that. So what we'll do, we'll ponder upon the verses of the Quran and see how they teach us what is this code. So as I said, we want to learn, understand this shape you see on the screen. So let's start. If we ponder upon verse number 3 of chapter 57 of the Quran which reads, He is the first and the last, the most high and the most near, and He is the all knower of everything. So this verse tells us some of the attributes of Allah, God Almighty, the Creator. And let's concentrate here on He is the first and the last. So Allah is telling us the Quran that He is the first, nothing was before Him, and He is the last, nothing is after Him. So if we link this verse to the geometrical code of 19, and let's look at the first layer which is comprised of one circle, one circle in the middle. So this single circle in the center of the shape codes for Allah God, the Creator, the One, where nothing was prior to Him. So in a, in, a, in a sense here, this code is telling us the story of creation. That at the beginning of this universe, the creation of this universe, there was Allah, the Creator. And this is coded for by a single circle in the center of this shape. There was Allah, the One, nothing was before Him. And that this creation started by the command of Allah God Almighty. Not like so many people uh, who believe in evolution say it starts from nothing. No, there was Allah and nothing was before Him. So this, see how we, can, we started decoding the shape, what, what information we can get from it. Let's continue. In chapter 11, verse 7 of the Quran, it reads, And he, it is who he has created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was on water, that he might try you, which of you is the best in deeds. But if you were to say to them, You shall indeed be raised up after death, those who disbelieve would be, would be sure to say, This is nothing but obvious magic. So here Allah is telling us that He created the heavens and the earth in six days. So if we move on to the second layer in this uh, code, we see that it's composed of six circles. So the second layer codes for the creation of the universe in six days. That is the second layer in the shape. So the second layer is composed of six circles. Look, creation of six in six days, we have six circles, so coding for the creation of the heavens and the earth in six days. Let's see what the third layer represents. So we can learn this by pondering upon verse number 36 of chapter 9 of the Quran which reads, Verily, the number of months with Allah God is twelve months in a year. So was it ordained by Allah God on the day when He created the heavens and the earth. So if we just stop here and think about it, so Allah is telling us that the number of months is 12 months. So if we go to the third layer, we see that it's composed of 12 circles. 12. So after Allah created the heavens and the earth, He created you. And you live a number of years in this universe. And each year is composed of 12 months. So the third layer codes for the time you spend, you live in this universe. So we see, brothers and sisters, glory be to Allah, God Almighty, that the first information we get from this code, the code of 19, is the story of creation. And to summarize, the first circle, the circle in the middle, 
quotes for that at the beginning of everything was Allah God Almighty and He's one and only, not three in one, not more than one God, but one God Allah. And then He created the heavens and the earth in six days and that coded for by the six circles at the second layer. And then He created you and you live a certain number of months in this uh, or years in this universe and that's coded for by the 12 months in a year in the third layer now not only that this shape shows you the story of creation but it tells you also how it will end how this universe will end how if you if you go not from the first layer to the second to the third if you go from the third to the second to the first so at the, at the Day of Judgment, Allah will do the following. Firstly, He will end life. So the third layer, which represents the number of, represents the time you, you live, you will die. So it will end, the third layer. Now the second layer, which represents the, uh, the, the heavens and the earth, the creation of the heavens and the earth, Allah will destroy the heavens and the earth. He will destroy the, the, uh, the heavens and the earth. So the second layer will be removed. And what is left is Allah, God Almighty. He is the first and the last. So you see, brothers and sisters, by pondering upon the Quran and linking it to the number 19, we, start, we, we have started to see this sign in the number 19. And of course, there is much, much more to come. Okay. Let's see more information by decoding this code in number 19, what we can learn. Now let's focus, as you can see on the screen, on the second layer, which symbolizes or codes for the creation of the heavens and the earth in six days. Now if we do this exercise, if we lo locate the centers of the circles in the second layer, and mark them with small kind of circles, as you can see on the right. And if we link the centers of the circles with straight lines, we get a geometrical shape, which is a hexagon. We get a hexagonal shape, a shape having six sides. Again, if we locate and mark the centers of the circles, as you can see, then we connect them with straight lines, we get the hexagonal shape. So what does this tell, uh, tell us? Now, as I said, the second layer symbolizes or codes for the creation of the heavens and earth in six days. The geometrical shape within the second layer is a hexagon. So linking both conclusions together, we get the following conclusion, that Allah is telling us that He will create this universe based on the hexagonal shape based on the hexagon. Again, the second layer represents the creation of the heavens and the earth, six days. The geometric shape within it, the hexagon. So Allah is telling us that the structure of the universe will be based on the hexagon, the hexagonal shape. So let's explore that. As you can see on the left, we have the hexagon, as we learned from the code. On the right, we have the structure of solid water of ice and you can see that Allah created ice based on the hexagon so we have a hexagonal arrangement of water molecules another example on the right we see a snowflake and as you can see Allah created the snowflake based on the hexagonal shape based on the hexagon and if you know if you look uh, deeply in this um, figure you can see the astounding correlation or the astounding similarity between the geometrical shape of a snowflake and the geometrical shape of the number 19, this great sign of Allah God Almighty. So this whole universe is based on, on the hexagon. So you can see the amount of information we are starting to get by decoding this um, great sign of Allah God Almighty in the number 19. Another example, if we look at the beehive, we see that Allah God Almighty created the bees, the, bee, the hive of the bees, based on the hexagonal design as well. 
And also, if we look at silica oxide, just one example of, uh, of a material, we see again that it's based on the hexagon. And also, this hex the structure of the universe uh, based on the hexagon is not only to limit, is limited to what we think of as matter, but also energy. So here's an example of light, and the yellow spots, they represent light photons. So as uh, matter is composed of atoms, the basic building block of matter, energy is, base, is composed of photons, the basic building block of energy. So if we connect straight lines between the photons and, and light, we get a hexagonal shape. So also energy is based on the hexagon. So we saw, brothers and sisters, from this presentation, some of the information we learn from the sign in the number 19. So it is indeed a great sign of Allah God Almighty. And it's easily understood. And you saw by pondering upon the last revelation to be with the Quran, how easy it is to decode this geometrical code of 19. And in the coming lecture, Allah God willing, I will show how can we, how can we learn energy and its dynamics in creation from this number 19. And in the lecture to follow that, I will show with the help of Allah God how to get or how to devise practical applications from this sign of 19 by making kind of discoveries and making technological projects that we can implement in our life for example, in the field of uh, communication, in the field of uh, civil engineering, I will show practical examples that we can make projects based on the number 19. And to know more details about this, this lecture, please visit my website at wwwquran miraclecom and you can email me at zaidquran at gmail.com and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.